We've added in a bunch of new features within Quote IQ, and in this video, I want to walk you guys through what all those features look like, how they're going to help your business, and uh, how you can use them most efficiently and effectively. Now, if you guys are checking out Quote IQ and you don't have it already, be sure to check out the first link in the comment section and the description. With that link, you could try any tier of Quote IQ right now for absolutely free for 14 days. I'm also going to have a link down there to schedule a demo. If you're just kind of in the you know discovery phase with regards to Quote IQ, you can schedule a demo with our team, and they'll give you a more in-depth walkthrough in this video. Like I said, I'm going to walk through all the new features. So first and foremost, you guys will notice that we've added new buttons next to all of, you know, kind of our new features. I'm going to walk you guys through some features that don't necessarily have new buttons next to them. But uh, this is just a little way for us to be able to show uh, some new things on the side menu here. First and foremost, I want to, I want to talk through jobs list, though. So uh, previously, the only way to view all of your jobs was this calendar right here. Um, so you could click into a calendar event, and this was the only way to view all the jobs you had on the schedule. Now what we've done is we've taken all these jobs and we've put them into a job list. So now you can search uh, by all these jobs. You can you know sort them based on status, based on type. You can create new job events from here, and uh, it's just a better way to kind of be able to see everything. It just takes all the jobs that were on the calendar and puts them into one place, so that way you guys can more easily see what's going on. Now the second thing that we did is, of course, you can click into any of these, and just like you click on the calendar, the same view is going to pop up and this is going to be a way for you to send your on the way text a way for you to call the customer text the customer send appointment confirmations uh, you could even you know time the job from here now what we've added in however is the ability to see a report and the report is basically going to be the analytics of the job so job costing if you will from this report we're going to be able to see what the total price was charged on the job you're then going to be able to add in labor now expenses and you're going to be able to get a a uh, profit amount as well as a profit margin on the job. So before, as you guys know, this was not in here. So if you guys had expenses that you were that you wanted to tie to jobs, you couldn't. The expenses section and the job section was completely different. Now you can add in specific labor. So let's say you had an employee that worked a specific amount of time on here. We can add this employee in. We can edit their start time, their end time. So that way. Um, we can take that into consideration with regards to our labor costs within our job costing. And we also have the ability now to add in specific expenses to uh, our particular job. So now if you come in here, you can click expense type. We can say that this was, you know, supplies. Let's say we had to get a uh, chemical for the job. And then we can put in an amount, which, you know, would be 150. So we'll just click add expense here. And then what it's going to do is it's going to uh, subtract the expense from the total price of the job. And it's going to give our, give us our profit margin. So this is just another way that now you guys can kind of dig into the analytics of each job. And you'll be able to, you know, just have more insights into uh, what you're actually making with regards to money. So that was one of the first things that we did. We also added in the ability to add photos within here as well. Uh, we had some people that were requesting the ability to add photos in to specific calendar events, maybe things that you wanted to make sure you took note of whenever you whenever you quoted the job or you scheduled the job. Now you can do that within here. And, and this is facing just you. So the customer's not going to see any of this. This is just for you know the contractor. So those are a few of the things that we added in with regards to jobs, with regards to the jobs preview. A lot of people were requesting that job costing. And that's going to take us into our next thing. And that is the ability to actually request and suggest new features. We wanted to add in a button in here, which we did right here suggest feature you can now click this and it's going to bring up this whole view of all the features that other people have suggested and uh, you guys can scroll through this and see this is going to be a way for us to hear the people that are using the app we can now see all of the things that these people are suggesting once they've suggested it and we've actually approved it it moves it to this tab so as you guys can see instant quote feedback button basically feedback on quotes that's something that we're definitely going to add in tap to pay something that we are definitely going to add in insta quote plus matte measure pro we're going to be integrating those so these are things that we've already approved you guys can then see things that are in progress so equipment inventory as you guys saw we actually have this in here already so we can go ahead and move this one i'll move this one after the fact we've we've added in job co job costing and we're currently in the process of building out a pipeline feature uh, and then over here, you guys can actually see what got implemented. So suggest a feature feature, uh, phone number porting, which we're going to talk about here in a minute, and then being able to uh, adjust time entries. All these things were um, you know, already done. So we wanted to have a better way within the app for the users to tell us what it was that, that we're missing and then also give 
uh, a bit of a community here so that way you guys could upvote the things that you like most. So you guys can now see what some of the most pressing things are within the app um, that people want. And, and we're going to obviously prioritize the things that we build based upon, you know, what you guys are suggesting. So if you guys have feature suggestions that you're interested in seeing in the app, you, get, you guys can click that in there and you can also see the things that we're currently working on uh, to bring into the app. So just a way to add a bit of transparency for us and uh, for you guys to be able to have a bigger say so in the things that we actually built. The next one I want to talk to you guys about is uh, different calendar views for employees. Uh, we've added in the ability to see uh, an employee timeline now, whereas before you couldn't. So if you guys have employees, like we can see Hunter McMillan now is scheduled here. We have jobs that are not assigned that we could jump in and actually assign this job to an employee. But uh, just for people with you know more employees, it now gives the ability to see what each employee's timeline looks like. And so we added this in here for our bigger companies. Uh, the next thing I want to give a shout out to is Virtual Call Team 2. I actually did a complete video uh, breakdown on this. I'll leave it linked down below in the comment section and the description. But this is, uh, it's new, it's improved. Uh, we've made uh, new ways for you guys to build agents, for you to customize those agents. They now have knowledge knowledge bases tied, tied to them. You now have the ability within here to edit system instructions. So for Mike, for example, he's built out a whole sales agent agent where the agent can actually sell for him. And maybe I'll include a snippet uh, in this video of how Mike has set up his agent to sell for him. So if you guys want to do that now, you can definitely do that within here. And if you get it and you want to implement a sales agent, let us know and we can give you the script for that. But there's a bunch more customization here. You now can pick your voice where before you could not pick your voice. You can pick the style, the speed, the stability, the similarity that they speak within. You can also edit the knowledge base here, which uh, allows you to tie your website directly into your virtual call team. And the biggest thing that we did with reverse virtual call, call team is we made it completely free for every tier. There's now no subscription cost tied into using virtual call team you can use it for absolutely free all you pay for is the minutes that your agent uses and so you guys don't have to worry about um you know any more cost per month you just pay as you go pretty much um so that is virtual call team completely new like i said be sure to check out that video down below and let's get into the next one the next one is inventory management we had some of our larger companies that wanted this feature um they wanted inventory management a way to track uh things like products where they where they are order suppliers transactions things of that nature so uh products here as you guys can see we have paint as a product you can add a product in here you can add a SKU code category buying price quantity we have our locations here so we have warehouse employee i think this was just us testing it uh suppliers here who our suppliers are uh, and then our orders, of course. So this is going to be an inventory tracker. Another thing that we're working on is a an equipment tracker within the app as well. So if you guys have specific equipment tied to specific jobs, uh, we'll hopefully in the future be able to have the ability for you guys to kind of designate what equipment you have and where that equipment is assigned uh, just for some of our other contractors. As you guys know, we built this app primarily for uh, pressure washing in the beginning. Since then, we have completely overhauled it so that way it's able to be used for every single industry. And we noticed that some of these features like inventory management, um, like I'm telling you guys with the equipment management, these are some of the features that some of our bigger users are, are wanting, even with regards to you know the employee timeline. And these are the things that we're listening to, we're taking note of, and we're implementing into the app. So um, you know, inventory tracking is now here. You guys can test it out, try it out. Keep in mind, all these new features that we add in are kind of beta we've obviously tested them within the app but if you guys have any suggestions for how we can make these things better uh improvements uh, things that we can add to it if you have any issues with it please feel free to reach out and, and, and that way we can make the uh proper corrections all you gotta do is click the contact support button here and let us know through let us know through one of these channels um so we have the feature request button we have inventory management the last thing i want to talk to you guys about is our client hub number so if you guys ever used client hub in the past you know that it was a way to communicate with your customers through the app it still is uh previously we had no ability for people to call directly into the number so the number was kind of a one-way number uh you could text but if they tried to call in, it wouldn't work. So we added the ability to forward the call. And you guys can see this within Configure. You can forward the call to your personal phone number if you'd like to. But we now have the ability to do voice calling. So if you guys want to turn this on, you do have to come in here, click voice calling, and then you will have to activate it on your account. But once you activate it, people will now be able to call the number from your client hub number and it'll ring directly into the app. So we were trying to create a one-stop shop with regards to having a business line. And now you'll be able to have a business line within the app using client hub and using this new feature for receiving calls into it. Now, I will tell you guys this, we are in the process of um, redoing how we handle text messaging within the app. Previously, we were using Twilio for things like mass text, 
things like Client Hub. However, moving forward, we're actually going to be using a different service, uh, which is going to just be easier for us to manage. Unfortunately, when you're dealing with some of these bigger companies, it is very hard to communicate with them properly uh, just because we're not the biggest fish on Twilio's radar. So if we have issues, if we have concerns, if our users are having trouble uh, adding Twilio to their account, there's not a lot that we can do for them. Uh, fortunately enough for us, we did find a solution for this with another software that we're going to be utilizing and um, we're going to be able to be a little bit more hands on. They're going to be able to give us more data and they're also guaranteeing that, you know, anybody who wants to use some of these texting features like text blast, uh, client up, things of that nature will be able to be approved in less than 48 hours, where as opposed to if you guys have ever tried going through Twilio, it was a bit more of a hassle in order to get approved and get things going. So I did want to let you guys know we're in the process of, re process of restructuring that. So uh, if you're interested in Client Hub, be sure to check it out. Um, but it will be changing here coming soon. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. There's a lot of things that we're working on. If you guys do want to see, we obviously have the suggested feature. Uh, now pipelines is one of the bigger things that we're working on right now. If you guys have any suggestions, be sure to leave them in a the suggested feature section, leave them down in the comment section of this video. If you have any issues with quote IQ, reach out to us uh, via the support contact support button. And, uh, if you have any questions, anything other than that, just leave it down in the comment section. But if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button for me, subscribe to the channel until next time. I was hard. Get that money, baby. Peace. All American pressure Back cleaning. How can we help you? Hi, uh, good afternoon. I'd like to take the quote for pressure washing. I can help with that. What services were you hoping to get a quote on? Um, driveway, walkway, back porch, or back patio. Got it. Did you want to add any other services? We usually offer bundled discounts. Um, no, I think that's all for now. Great. Let's start with the driveway. Is your driveway made of concrete or pavers? Both. All right, for the areas with concrete and pavers, could you tell me if your driveway is small, medium, or large? Medium. All right, that usually runs around $185 for a medium driveway. How about the walkway and back patio? Are they also concrete or pavers? And would you say they are small, medium, or large? I would say medium. And yes, they're concrete and pavers. Okay, for medium-sized concrete and paver walkways and back patios, the pricing would be similar to the driveway. Are there any staining issues we should be aware of, like rust or oil stains? No. Perfect. I'll calculate the total for the driveway, walkway, and back patio cleaning. Since you're getting multiple areas cleaned, I'll also apply a bundle discount for you. Just a moment while I get that total. Are you still there? Yes. Great. For the medium driveway, walkway, and back patio, the total comes out to about $555. Since you're bundling these services, I'll take 10% off the total. That brings everything to about $499.50. Would you like to go ahead and schedule it? Yes. Fantastic. What's your first and last name? Louis, L-U-I-S. Great. Someone from our team will reach out soon to confirm your quote and schedule the cleaning for your driveway, walkway, and back patio. Thank you for choosing All-American Pressure Cleaning, Luis. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a wonderful day. You too. If you need anything else, just give us a call. Bye for now.